Okay, let's jump in then and talk about this gun in some detail. Now, first of all, I'll just give you the specs of it. This is a 2.2 version. I'll just give you a sort of full sort of close-up of it. Now, overall length is 29 inches. That's without the moderator. Weight is 5.25 pounds so it's fairly light you've got a 12 inch barrel which is completely shrouded it's a Walther barrel so it's good quality barrel 500 shots per fill which I personally think is very impressive obviously single shot so there's no magazine on this it's single shot now first of all let's just sort of take it from the stock end then let's talk about this thing obviously the stock is actually the air tank as you can see you've got like a soft sort of well not so much soft but softer and obviously warmer than putting your cheek on the actual bottle itself kind of like a rubber almost neoprene like uh, covering totally ambidextrous so it, but it goes all the way around but the, the gun itself is totally ambidextrous ignore the scope this is a scope that I use for testing so the actual uh, pad on the gun, recoil pad, butt pad, is kind of incorporated into the uh, the air tank itself, and and that's pretty minimalistic. Does the job. And then as we move down to the pistol grip, polymer pistol grip, fairly soft to touch. Nothing sort of like, you know, rock solid or poor quality. Good quality pistol grip. Hollowed out there, you know, I think they're just minimising weight there. That's your pistol grip. Now all the action and every all the metal work is aircraft alloy. Real tough. Feels good in the hand, you know, the whole gun itself feels good to shoot. One thing I will recommend is when I was testing this gun, I put another scope on it and I had normal size mounts and I couldn't actually get a good sight picture. Basically, you need what I'm saying is you need high mounts on it because obviously the, the bottle on the back is completely straight. It doesn't dip down like a conventional stock. So when putting a scope on this thing, make sure you get the high mounts. Now the pistol grip is tough polymer, as is the fore end. Nice and wide though. Comfy in the hand. It's got like a sort of checker in there, give you a bit of traction. Checkering on the pistol grip as well. It's a real simple design. This gun is. It's just using direct pressure straight from the uh, air tank into the breech and then straight into the barrel. Now to load this gun basically this sort of bolt knob here 
you've just got to pull that all the way forward till it clicks and as you can see it's opening up the breech put your pellet straight into the barrel there close it up and pull it to one side automatic safety and the safety is the only thing I really don't like on this gun it's just I don't know I just think it's a bit crap to be fair it's positive enough but I don't know I think they could have done a better job of that it's just basically a bit of wire with a red bit of plastic shoved on the end and it's a bit loose and don't know I don't like the, the safety but anyway automatic safety so you just push that forward that clicks there's no pallet in it but safe direction and that's it and it's just it's just beautiful to shoot it's a real comfortable gun to shoot real nice trigger the trigger is fully adjustable you can even adjust the blade on there see the uh, the allen head on that bolt that will screw you can undo that and adjust the where you want the blade of the trigger trigger guard is metal nice and tough pretty uh, self-explanatory there and does what it says on the tin pretty much nice and simple nice and sleek as well it kind of goes with the uh, the shape of the gun they haven't rounded it so a nice sort of sort of angle to go with all the other angles on the gun this one is wearing a gun power moderator at the minute I'll take this off just show you just uh, unscrews not much thread on it it's pretty much on a couple of turns and that thing is on but it's a very very effective moderator definitely worth uh, getting if you get one of these guns it does make a real difference but that's all aluminium as well nice and lightweight plus it finishes the gun off as well but the stealth I believe does come with the moderator anyway but I'll show you this thing stripped down as well, it seems we've got the moderator off. Let's take the, uh, the air bottle off, that just totally unscrews. And there you're down to your component parts. Obviously stripping this gun down isn't going to affect the zero because the zero is unaffected because you're not basically taking the scope off so it's uh, nice and compact I mean look at that like I said you can get um, a laptop case for this gun so pretty cool if you're a bit of a secret agent or something so now I've got this rifle stripped down I'll just give you some close-ups of it and you can really see how simple this gun really is It's just pretty much a barrel with an air tank screwed on the back and a trigger. It's pretty much it. It's real, real basic in the way of design, but so effective. Now I can also give you a close up of the added bit of rail there. Now you can attach a Picatinny rail on there, some sort of weaver rail if you like, and then you can obviously attach a bipod to it. That would be, uh, be worth doing it, it'd add to the sort of uh, tactical look of this gun. You've also got quite a bit of rail here that you can attach stuff to, and they've also done some uh, Allen holes here as well where you can obviously attach a weaver rail on there to attach a light or a laser or whatever you want. But yeah that's the gun stripped down. Super super lightweight, super compact when it is stripped down like this. And it's just a good fun rifle, I love it I do. I mean the fun I've had with this in testing I just haven't wanted to put it down, it's been that much fun. For a single shot as well, it's, it's just great. I'll give you a closer look at the air tank as well. A bit more easy to uh, wave around on camera while it's all dismantled like this. 
So you've got like a rubberized recoil pad on there, just mainly to give you grip. Now obviously you can fill these up from a diver's bottle using the relevant uh, valves and regulators. Now that's the stealth field stripped. To put it back together, dead easy. Just screw on your air tank without cross threading it or anything. And then your moderator. Obviously, if you've got a um, bipod on this, you'd take that off if you really wanted to strip this thing down. Let's just make sure I'm not threading that. Because this gun is on loan, it's not mine, so I don't want to damage it in any way. That's your moderator on. Good to go. You've got plenty of rail here to attach a scope or whatever sighting device you want on here. You can get open sights for these guns. For the whole range they do uh, open sights. But with a gun of this nature you really are going to want a scope. The cocking lever or bolt knob has got the same sort of rubberized finish on it as the uh, cheek piece or the area where you'd put your cheek on the air tank. It's kind of like a tough neoprene rubber like material. For testing purposes I was using trusty old Superdome pellets which I use in all my testing. It was consistent with them and I even went on to Good old Ely wasps. Do they still make these things now? I don't even know. But yeah, I was uh, stacking them as well with this gun. Really, really, yeah, uh, really was good fun. This gun as well is available in all the uh, calibers 177, 22, 0.20, and 0.25. So You've got a good choice. I've really enjoyed testing this stealth. It's been such good fun. Such a nice gun to use. And in my opinion, a real good looking gun. Thanks for watching guys. That's your Rack and Load Review.